This video is for estimating quotients, which is what you get when you divide things. In mathematics, there's a specific way to do this again, and that is you're given a question like 316 divided by 8. First, you round the dividend, which is the first number here, the number that you're dividing, to the nearest 10. So that is this digit, the ones, tens, and it's the 10 in every question. Then once you've rounded it, you divide it by the divisor. So I will do these three examples, and then you should have a good idea of how to do it. All right. First, 316 divided by 8. We round to the nearest 10. So the 10 is our key digit. And what we're asking ourselves is, is this number closer to 310 or 320? Because these are the increments of 10. So is 316 closer to 310 or 320? Well, it's only 4 away from 320. So that is rounding to the nearest 10 gives us 320. So now we have 320 divided by 8. And here you can use our trick with the 0. So ignore the 0 for now. Do 32 divided by 8 which is 4, and then if we were doing 32 times 8 divided by 8, the answer would be 4, but we're dividing 320 divided by 8, which is 10 times as more, so the answer also has to be 10 times as more. So the approximation is 316 divided by 8 is approximately 40. So that's our answer for the first question. 237 divided by 6. Again, we're rounding to the nearest 10. So is this number closer to 230 or 240? Well, it's only 3 away from 240. So we change that to 240 divided by 6. Again, just think about 24 divided by 6 first, which is 4. Oh, it's 40 again. And the dividend is multiplied by 10, so the answer is multiplied by 10. Last one, 811 divided by 9. Is this closer to 810 or 820? It's only one away from 810, so that one's closer. 810 divided by 9. I know that 81 divided by 9 is 9, because 9 squared is 81. But we have this extra 0, so we need to multiply our answer by 0. So our answer for that one is 90. So first round the first number to the nearest 10, then you divide. 